Hi, I'm Trent Brown, and we're looking at a seated, angled dumbbell shoulder press. Now, I put the angled on because uh, I've got my bench just tipped back slightly, uh, and it does make a slight bit of a difference. You can usually lift a little bit more weight um, with this angle. It will shift a little bit more emphasis through onto the anterior delt, um, but it's a very good press to do. And uh, I like it because it gets rid of the tendency with heavy weight to kind of slide down the bench, which I'm gonna show you what not to do with it in a bit. I'll move the bench and kind of show you. So uh, really easy to function, really, uh, dumbbell shoulder press, uh, but there's a few things that I want us to have a look at as we go through this range of movement. So we're doing a palms facing forwards position or uh, a, a pronated position, okay? And we'd, we want arms either side of the shoulders. We don't want to come in narrow and that can end up happening. See the angle of, of my forearms as it comes in. And that can happen when you're tired, you're trying to shorten the movement a little bit. We want that stretch. So we've got the shoulders back into position there. There's a nice stretch through the deltoid. It gives me a nice posture as well. And then we're coming up, we're following the alignment all the way through and up at the top. We're going for a meter in at the top as well. So the dumbbells are gonna to come together and then we're gonna drop down following that alignment. So it means we've gotta come out, there's some width in it, and then we're down. I'll show you with the dumbbell now, the basic movement, and I'll go through a couple of things that I don't want you to end up doing, okay? Uh, I always like as well, <coughs> If you can see how I've got my feet, I like them planted either side, nice and wide. I like to feel grounded, okay? <laughs> it may work well for you. Some people go to the front, but I, I find that you, you're not supported enough kind of through your lower body. So get yourself in a robust position. It does help, especially with the heavier weights, okay? So either side, get your wrists in line. Don't have them tipped back. Get them forwards and in line. You should feel that just engage the shoulders a little bit more instantly as soon as you roll their wrists up. I don't know if you can see what I've done there. So that's me back, that's me forwards, okay? So from there, we're pushing up. We're following the alignment kind of straight all the way apart from the last little bit, it's tipping in. We're not gonna tip in too early. As you're coming down, we're following that same alignment. And this is what I mean about going narrow, okay? Is you can end up coming it up this way which is gonna shorten that load that's running through the shoulders. And it can happen again on the way down. So if I'm too short here, I've now shortened the movement completely. We want it up, 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 and then squeeze in. And you see how I'm working that? Okay, and then I'm bringing it out either side, up either side, rather than narrowing that movement down again, which will reduce the weight that's going through the shoulders, okay? Keep the palms facing forwards as that is the technique. As you start to fatigue, you can end up tipping the dumbbells in a little bit. And again, it's just a different exercise in a sense. I want the palms facing forward through this all the time, through that range of movement, okay? So there are your basics, it's very easy to function. Now what I wanted to kind of go through um, on positioning is this can happen a lot. You'll see the angle of my bench now as well. I'll show you from here. Okay, so you can see it's tip back slightly. There's my complete upright, and I'm just going to just drop back slightly. That is the technique you are using with this exercise. So just drop it back just very slightly with your bench. Now, what we don't want to happen, and it's kind of harder to happen with this tip back, to be honest, okay? is we don't want this to happen. What your body is trying to do there when you're getting tired and you're sliding down your bench is it's trying to transition the weight up into the chest as well, trying to get the chest assisting you more. And we don't want that to happen. Keep yourself locked up into position all the time, okay? And that will isolate the shoulders much better, all right? Again, wrists in line, keep that posture and make sure that you are lifting above your head. This is my next point. I know you're thinking, what do you mean? It's a shoulder press. But you'll end up lifting forwards, 
or as the weight comes up, you can end up going too far backwards. Make sure it's right the way up above the head and then down again. Don't be pushing forwards off into it, which can happen. So just be aware of your ranges of movement and what you are doing. This is why mirrors are so good because you can kind of see where you're working uh, and make the adjustments and modifications as and when you need.